Ladies and gentlemen, this is Stevie J from Glove Up or Shut Up Wrestling Observer and AngryMarks.com, and we have just concluded a fun evening of fights from Dublin. Well, afternoon in the U.S., but evening at the O2 Arena, where the fan-favorite or Irish-born fighters all won. It was a 6-0 clean sweep for the favorites, but let's take it from the top to the bottom. Conor McGregor proved once again that he is a phenom at featherweight, he only needed 4 minutes and 5 seconds of the first round to finish off his opponent Diego Brandao with strikes. And he said that the Irish fighters are not just here to take part, they're here to take over. So he started talking about football stadiums. He said he's going to go backstage, have some whiskey, sit down with Lorenzo Fertitta, and discuss football stadiums and title shots. Might be too soon for the latter. I would never say no to the former. These fans in Dublin were very loud, very passionate, very excited. They sold out in three hours when these tickets went on sale, and these fans were there from the opening prelim. I mean, seriously, that first prelim fight got one of the loudest reactions you'll ever hear for any prelim. We'll get to that. Coming event was Gunnar Nelson going against Zach Cummings, and Gunnar came out kind of flat in the first round. I thought he actually gave it away to Cummings, but... He made up for that in the second round by taking over with a rear naked choke, 448, and finished him off. And the crowd ate that up, because Gunnar was one of those favorites that I was referring to. He may be from Iceland, but he said that Dublin was his second home, and the fans at the O2 Arena treated him like that. And third from the top, we had Ian McCall against Brad Pickett, a ranking bout in the flyweight division which Ian McCall was able to use his speed and quickness to handily score a decision 327 times 2, 29-28, sending Brad Pickett back to the drawing board. He dropped down a weight class, thinking it would be to his advantage, but speed is everything in this weight class, and if you're not as fast as Ian McCall or Demetrius Johnson or John Dodson, you're going to have problems. And in our opening bout, Norman Park, the lightweight winner of Tough Smashes, defeated uh, Niyuki Katani in the second round, 341. And they tried to build up Katani with the hype as they started out the main portion of the show, saying that he had faced the likes of Rich Clemente, Roger Huerta, and Eve Edwards. Only they didn't bother to mention that Katani lost to all of them. So really, no shock here. Moving on to our prelim card, Iller Latifi, made short work of Chris Dempsey, who was a late replacement, 207 of the first round. Knocked him out. Then we had Neil Seary defeating Phil Harris in another flyweight bout. There were actually three flyweight bouts on this card. Seary had lost to Harris a few years ago in Bama. He got his redemption, though. 327 across the board. Then, Katal Pendred from The Ultimate Fighter. He got redemption too. He lost in the semis and didn't make his way into the finale. But here he took out his teammate Mike King with a rear naked choke. Uh, what was the official time? Let me look here. 3.33 of the second round. Before that, we had Trevor Hot Sauce Smith at middleweight taking on Tor Trong. He got a unanimous 29-28 across the board and looked pretty good in the fight. Not great, but better. And Hot Sauce, he'll he'll probably be something at middleweight, but he's still got some work to do. Before that, Nikita Krylov finished Cody Donovan with three seconds left in the first round. And I actually thought there was only a second left, but it's hard to tell when those referees get in there to wave it off that what the clock actually says applies. So either way, it was a very late stoppage, but it was a justified stoppage because Donovan just was not defending himself. Krylov was smashing him. So good call there. And in the opener, which like I said, got an incredibly loud reaction, Patrick the Hooligan Hulahan defeated Josh Sampo with a rear naked choke at 306. So very, very, very exciting to hear the crowd react to an opening fight that way. They loved Patrick Hulahan. That's your report on UFC from Dublin. I'm Stevie J.